Here's an equation that looks impossible to solve. The variable x is trapped in both the base and the exponent, tangled together in what seems like an algebraic nightmare. But there's a beautiful trick hidden here that makes everything collapse into a surprisingly simple answer. To ensure we capture every possible solution, let's begin by visualizing the function across its entire domain. For the expression to be real valued, the base must be positive. This excludes the interval between negative 5 and 0, so we must examine the regions outside this gap. The function forms two distinct branches. The negative branch sweeps upward from the axis, while the positive branch remains tightly bound near 0. Our target value, 1 over 32, intersects the negative branch at what appears to be a clean integer coordinate around x equals negative 10. Notice it sits strictly above the positive branch, which implies our solution is unique. Let's determine this value algebraically. A strategic substitution will unravel the knotted structure of this equation. We begin with the original expression. We rewrite the right-hand side as a power of 2. 1 over 32 is simply 2 to the power of negative 5. Notice that the base is the reciprocal of the term inside the exponent. This inverse relationship is exactly what guides our substitution. Let's define a new variable u to represent this base fraction. We must now express the exponent in terms of u. We start by taking the reciprocal. 1 over u equals x plus 5 divided by x. We can decompose this fraction into two parts. This simplifies to 1 plus 5 over x. Rearranging the terms allows us to isolate the term 5 over x. Combining the right side gives us 1 minus u all over u. Solving for x yields 5u divided by the quantity 1 minus u. Now we construct the full exponent by adding 5 to this expression. We use a common denominator to merge the constant term. This expands to 5u plus 5 times the quantity 1 minus u. The u terms cancel out, leaving a remarkably simple expression, 5 over 1 minus u. We substitute these expressions back into our main equation. This results in an exponential equation written entirely in terms of u. We divide the exponents by the common factor of 5. The equation reduces to u, raised to the power of 1 over 1 minus u, equaling 2 to the negative 1. The right side is simply 1 half. To clear the fraction in the exponent, we raise both sides to the power of 1 minus u. This isolates u on the left side. Expressing the base as a power of 2 allows us to match the terms. This simplifies to u equals 2 to the power of u minus 1. We apply exponent rules to separate the power. This is equivalent to 2 to the power of u divided by 2. Multiplying by 2 reveals the transcendental equation. 2u equals 2 to the power of u. Equations that mix linear and exponential terms often require inspection. Here, we look for integer solutions, where the linear growth matches the exponential growth. We can solve this analytically using the Lambert W function, which is designed for equations involving exponential and linear terms, starting from 2u equals 2 to the power of u. Dividing by 2 gives u equals 2 to the power of u minus 1. Multiplying both sides by 2 to the negative u isolates the exponential term. Converting to base e, 2 to the negative u becomes e to the negative u natural log of 2. Multiplying by negative natural log of 2 converts this to the standard Lambert w function form. The Lambert W function is the inverse of x times e to the power of x. 
It's the key tool for solving equations where the unknown appears in both the base and the exponent. For negative arguments between negative 1 over e and 0, the function has two real branches, w0, the principal branch, and w negative 1, the secondary branch. Each branch gives us a distinct solution. Applying the Lambert W function gives negative u natural log 2 equals w of negative natural log 2 over 2. The principal branch w0 of negative natural log 2 over 2 equals negative natural log 2, yielding u equals 1. The negative 1 branch w negative 1 of negative natural log 2 over 2 equals negative 2 natural log 2, giving u equals 2. Let's verify these solutions graphically by plotting both sides of the equation. Plotting 2u and 2 to the power of u, the graphs intersect at exactly two points. The graph confirms our Lambert W function results. u equals 1 and u equals 2. We have two candidates for u. We must verify which one yields a valid x. Recall our original definition for u. First, we test the case where u equals 1. This implies x plus 5 equals x. Subtracting x leads to 5 equals 0, which is a contradiction. Therefore, u equals 1 is invalid. Next, we test the case where u equals 2. We set the expression equal to 2. Multiplying by the denominator gives 2 times x plus 5 equals x. Distributing results in 2x plus 10. Rearranging to isolate x. We find the final solution. x equals negative 10. We verify this result by substituting it into the original equation. Replacing x with negative 10, the base simplifies to negative 10 over negative 5. This equals 2 to the power of negative 5, which is 1 over 32. The solution holds. The apparent complexity of the variable base and exponent collapsed through substitution, revealing a simple integer solution.